in this video we are going to discuss about mac address table so before moving to the mac address table we will we will be shortly describing about the switch technologies what we have used so here you can see that the more interesting enhanced switching technologies like vlan interswitch link 802.1q trunking vlan trunking protocol and inter vlan routing and also about voice vlan we will be discussing about each and every technology in detail in the coming chapters but here if you see these are the technologies and more enhanced switching technologies which are there in the switch we use so also you will be armed or you will be giving with all the information to know about what is exactly and also configure verify and troubleshoot on these technologies so now coming to the mac address table if you can see ethernet address also known as mac address are having 6 bytes or 48 bits in length that means it is of 6 bytes in length or 48 bits in length and typically written in hexadecimal form so hexadecimal form it is typically written in the form here so you see a microsoft windows system would list out all the mac addresses which are connected to it with if you can see the mac address for windows system it will be like 12 hyphen 34 hyphen 56 hyphen 78 hyphen 9a hyphen bc so whereas cisco switch would list the mac addresses in the format 1234.5678.9a bc so this is the typical format of a cisco switch and this is the typical format of a windows system so they are merely different representation of the mac addresses between the switch and the windows system here so let's make a distinctive uh, difference between a frame and a packet so if you see that a packet before forwarding these terms you see the packet in the form of a frame refers in the form of bits and bytes so frame is a form of a bits and bytes and also you see it also has the header of the layer 2 and the tailor of the layer 2 which is also encapsulated by the header and the tailor in it so after forwarding it to the next layer if you can see the switch maintains the address table of all the mac addresses and also order efficiently switch frames between the interfaces so from interface to interface so when the data packet is transferred then it efficiently switches the frames from one interface to other interface here and also when the switch receives a frame so when the switch is receiving the frame so what it does is the associate mac addresses by the information so by the information of the associates mac addresses it will send or forward the packet to the next hop count and also as a practice so if you want to know in the windows system what all the mac addresses available then you have to type in this command called ipconfig slash all in the windows system to get the all the mac addresses of the windows system associated to it so for, for switch how it works so if you see here the example so for switch show mac address table so if you enter this command there then it will list out all the mac addresses associated or connected to its switch ports and you see here the vlans all vlans are available as well as mac addresses given in this format and the type we, we, we know there are two types which are static and dynamic so it is giving the type as static and the ports connected to it so what is the cpu port is connected to the switch here so coming to the list more so if you see till here it is static with the cpu but after that if you see here they are dynamic in nature the, those are the interfaces available which are connected to the switch port so all the total mac addresses are 27 in number and you can see vlan is connected is one and this is the mac address and the type of the mac address is dynamic mac address and also the interfaces connected to it so here if you can see the dynamically learned mac addresses is associated with one of only switch port that means one switch port is connected to dynamic one means the interfaces the other switch ports so that they are given as a dynamic and when you come to mac addresses of the cpu port though those are the windows cpu ports connected to it so there are two possible scenarios here that if you see multiple mac addresses associated with the same switch port so this means that the switch port may be connected to another switch which has in turn multiple devices connected to it that means if you see here the dynamic port has almost 7 in number that means 
one switch port is connected to another switch port where the other switch port is connected to multiple devices here. So this is all about the MAC address table and how to look or how to view the MAC address table in switch and in Windows system.